Skywatch Media News for December the 7th, 2021. A strange anomaly has been observed in the Earth's atmosphere at high latitudes near the North Pole. Every day at around noon, when the sun is at its highest point, a funnel-shaped gap in the Earth's magnetic field passes overhead. The gap in the field, called the polar cusp, allows the solar wind to penetrate the Earth's atmosphere. Radio and GPS signals behave strangely as they travel through this part of the sky. Over the past 20 years, scientists have noticed something unusual happening when spacecraft passes through this region. They all slow down. Traveling 250 miles above the Earth, spacecraft feel a drag, similar to hitting a speed bump. The reason for the slowdown has to do with the air situated within the polar cusp, which is much denser than the air in other regions in which the spacecrafts orbit around the Earth. No one seems to know why or how this is happening, but scientists are now investigating the mysterious area above the North Pole. Early in the morning of December the 1st, after nearly a two-year delay, a vapor tracer called the Krex-2 was successfully launched from the Andoya Space Center in Norway. The spacecraft's mission is to learn more about the dynamics within the cusp. It's known that the density of the Earth's atmosphere decreases rapidly with height, but it remains consistent horizontally so that at any given altitude, the atmosphere is nearly the same density around the planet, with the exception of the polar cusp. Located in the upper atmosphere at an altitude of 250 miles is a pocket of air that is one and a half times denser than the other air at the same altitude. What is happening in this region is absolutely incredible because it is impossible to increase the mass of the atmospheric region by a factor of one and a half times without the sky actually falling. Therefore, something that cannot be seen, that so far remains a mystery, is supporting or maintaining that extra mass, which is what the Krex-2 mission aims to figure out. There are various factors that could explain how the cusp's dense air remains suspended. One possibility involves electric and magnetic effects in the ionosphere, the layers of Earth's upper atmosphere that is ionized by the sun, meaning it contains electrically charged particles. Electrodynamics could support the denser air indirectly, or it may cause heating that generates vertical winds to keep the dense air aloft. Another explanation may be that the air in the entire vertical column of the cusp is denser than its surroundings. Stacked atop heavier air, the dense air 250 miles high would remain buoyant. The Krex-2 rocket ejected 20 small canisters, each with their own rocket motor. They traveled in all four directions. The canisters were timed to rupture at different altitudes. As they burst, they released vapor tracers, particles often found in firework displays which glow by scattering sunlight or upon exposure to oxygen in a three-dimensional grid in the sky. The wind painted the sky with these glowing clouds, revealing how air moves in this unusual section of the atmosphere. The logistics of the mission were quite complicated. The tracers had to be seen from several vantage points in order to obtain a better understanding of the wind patterns. Scientists were stationed across Scandinavia from Greenland to Finland in order to photograph the tracers over a period of between 20 and 30 minutes. The polar cusp is only present when the sun is high overhead at around noon, but the sky had to be dark for the tracer's glow to be visible, and this is why the Krex-2 launch occurred now, when there is very little sunlight at the extreme northern latitudes. Such an undertaking is like threading the needle, since there is only about an hour or two each day when conditions are suitable for the experiment. 
it was definitely a high-stakes game of chance, but one that will hopefully provide concrete answers to the strange anomaly at the North Pole. In the early morning hours of December the 4th, the Earth, the new moon, and the sun lined up together for a total solar eclipse over the continent of Antarctica. It was the first eclipse of its kind to pass over Antarctica in more than 18 years, and the last one to pass over until the year 2039. The eclipse was unusual in that it ran backwards with the moon passing across the disk of the sun from left to right. The reason for this is due to being in the far southern hemisphere, with the sun and the moon low to the horizon in the Antarctic sky. But for those who were watching or recording the event, they were looking at the two celestial objects upside down, compared to what would normally be seen in the northern hemisphere. Normally, during a solar eclipse, the shadow of the moon passes across the surface of the Earth from west to east, as it did in the August of 2017 total eclipse. But during this event, the shadow of the moon started in the east and ended in the west. Here are the images and footage of the second and the last total eclipse of 2021. The sky inspires us in many ways. It holds the ground for the heavens, and it suggests optimism, dreaming, peace, strength, and a connection with the atmosphere and the universe at large. Stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching, and always keep looking to the sky.